All right, so go ahead, crew. Y'all ready for episode two? Because I sure am. All right, so check it out. So tonight, we'll be reviewing a Cuban cigar. Yes, sir, you heard me correctly. We will be on the Cuban train. So hop all aboard, get your favorite drink and your favorite cigar, and we about to get lit. Y'all hang on. What's going down, Cigarhead crew? It's your man, Cigarhead Fred, and we are back again with another episode of Cigarhead TV. Back with another cigar review. Back with another hitter. And we are back with episode two of the CEO Baller Cigar Review Series. If you guys missed the kickoff series, episode one, go back and check that mug out. That was a good one. So, I'm waiting on this one to be an even better one because... We smoking a Cuban tonight, baby. We are on the Cuban train, baby. We on the Cuban train. And so I've smoked the number two with this cigar and I can't wait to smoke the number one. I'm super excited about it. So we're not gonna waste no more time. The cigar that we'll be smoking tonight is the Hoyo de Monterey Epicure number one. All right, cigar crew, now we're gonna take a good look at this cigar. It's a very rustic, rough looking cigar. I'm not gonna lie to you. Look at that, very minimal veins. I love that nice little peanut butter, caramelish type color that the wrapper has on it. Look at that band, the band is absolutely beautiful. Both bands, look at that. It's a nice looking cigar, nice looking band game. Um, now it does have a slight little imperfection as you see right there on the foot. There's the foot right there, boom, boom. It does have like a slight little imperfection. That was on me. Let's see that right there. Yeah, that's my fault. That was me. But overall, it is a very decent, smooth to the touch. Um, smooth to the touch, except when some parts of the cigar, you feel the veins in it. But overall, it's a nice looking cigar. Now, this is a 46 ring gauge. Now the blend, Come on, man. It's a Cuban. I'm not going to tell you the blend. <laughs> what? It's a Cuban. All right. So it has a nice little aroma to it. Smell a little barnyard and hay. On the foot, you smell just, just like a, it has a light tobacco smell. Mm. And that's it. But all right, y'all. We about to cut this bad boy up. And we about to get lit. Y'all hang on. V cut is the way, baby. That's a decent draw. The cold draw. I'm getting woodiness and bacon spices. Yeah. All right, that's all I'm getting, man. All right, without further ado, y'all, we about to get lit. Y'all hang on.
that's interesting. All right, Cigar Crew, now immediately from lineup, we're getting a ton of baking spice. But that baking spice is through the retro hill on the palate. Nice, nice vanilla cream, hay, and some honey. Hmm. Hold on. A touch of spice. It's a touch of spice on there, man. Like, like a touch of white pepper spice. A touch. Barely even like a barely even a sprinkle hmm not a bad start not a bad start so we gonna keep smoking this bad boy on down get into the first third and if i have anything else i'll be back y'all hang on All right, Cigar Crew, we have reached the end of the first third of the Hoyo de Mandre Epicure number one. Hey, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. This cigar is very smooth. It's like, I don't know, this cigar is very elegant to me. Oh, how fancy. The flavors in it, you still get the baking spices on the retro hill. It's a lot of caramel sweetness, a lot of honey. And like, okay. The honey that I'm getting, it reminds me of honey marmalade. That's the best way I can put it, honey marmalade. Nice fluffy smoke. The, the smoke output is really opened up on this cigar a lot. Now on the back end, you get like a touch of grassy, like that, that hay grassiness and a little earthiness, but it's not overbearing, it's, it, it's, it's not bad. I love that retro hair. But I will say, like on oh, sometimes when you puff this cigar, you get like a little, like a little pinch, like a little pinch of of of, of a like a white pepper spice on there. Not bad, man, not bad. So listen, I'm gonna go ahead and smoke this bad boy on down, get into the rest of the second third, and I'll see you next time. Not next time. I'll see you. <laughs> and I'll be back, man. I'll be back. Y'all hang on. All right, so go ahead, crew. We have reached the end of the second third. And we are approaching the final third of the cigar. I'm just about to move that secondary band. Let's see what we have. So that little touch, that little pinch, <clears throat> excuse me, that little pinch of um, little white pepper spice that I was getting is gone. Flavor notes are still the same, except one little thing. That woodiness, it's like a, um, it's not a cedar wood. It's not so much of like, oaky it's like cherry wood it's like a cherry wood if you ever cooked with cherry wood you got on the grill and cook with cherry wood then you know what i'm talking about nice it has hints of like that 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 oaky that oaky smell they like a sweet smell to it as well that's what i'm getting on my palate Retro Hill is super smooth, super nice Retro Hill. Fluffy, it's a fluffy Retro Hill. Fluffy, oh fluffy. And like a fluffy smoke output too. 
I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I'm getting. Hey man, it's not this not a bad one. This this isn't a bad cigar. I'm I'm hey, this is not a bad cigar. Not a bad cigar. Alright, y'all. So I'm gonna smoke it down all the way through the final third. And I'll be back. Y'all hang on. All right, Cigar and Crew, we have reached the final third of the Hoyo de Monterey Epicure number one. See what we have. Tons, tons of cedar spice now on the retro hill. Tons of cedar spice. That cherry wood that I was getting is gone. Um, mm, on the palate. On the palate. Getting some caramel sweetness. Still getting that honey marmalade. But that caramel sweetness is the main, like, it, it's the, that's the main thing on the palate. Honey marmalade is on the back end on the finish. Still get like a little bit of earthiness on the back end. A little hay as well. Man, that, that retro hair is so smooth on this cigar. Such a, so, there's such a pleasant smoke, man. Such a pleasant cigar. So, my tear for this cigar, what I'm gonna tear this cigar, man, this, it's a solid. It's a solid. All right, so how my tiering system goes, you got Cigar Head Certified, top, top tier. Then you have solid. Then third, you have mid. Then fourth, you got Great Cliff. Great Cliff mean that is pure shit. It's doo doo. This cigar is not that at all. This is another solid, another solid cigar to start episode two of the series, man. This cigar is a solid, definitely a solid cigar. Is it better than the? Is it better than the number two? Nah, number two is way more complex, way more complex. But it's still a good cigar. If I had a chance to smoke it again. I will most definitely smoke it again. So, if you like the flavor notes that I described in this cigar, give it a shot. If you have not smoked this cigar and you have it, if you know how to get it, get it. Smoke it and let me know what you think about it. So, with that being said, y'all give this video a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button so you know when the next video drops. And I'll see y'all in episode three of this CEO Baller Cigar Review Series. All right, y'all remember, stay lit, stay humble, stay smoking. All right, y'all, I'm out. Peace.